What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Finally we're about to watch the season 2 reunion. I've never seen it before. I've only watched the season but I never was able to watch the actual reunion. So it's going to be, hopefully it's good. See what happens. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope everybody's having a great day, night, wherever you're from. And let's drop right into it. Let's bring out Cherie. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice. When you entered the pod, you found yourself in the crosshairs of a major controversy. Let's watch. Please, everybody, step out. was scared. She got scared. Bunch of girls who are addicted to drugs think I have drugs on me, and they want them. That's crazy. Bunch of dope heads, man. Mackenzie got her ass beat. She always says that. Whenever somebody confronts her, I didn't say that. She did that with the with the CO too. Every part of my CO in me was like, "You need to stop a fight. This is life and death." I'm sorry, you knew that when you married me. Damn. <laughs> Let's bring out. Y'all knew who I was. Well, Wasn't that all surprise? Nice to meet you. That's crazy. Oh, I was like, why do you have makeup on? <laughs> this is the first time you guys have seen each other not in jail garb. Yeah. That's the first thing you say to her. You oh my god, you got makeup yeah, on. That's the best way to explain it, yeah. Dropping them notes. I want to see how they Dropping them notes. Because I know how I would respond. All right, everybody downstairs on the wall. So what's it like for you guys to see each other again? <laughs> it's so exciting. We don't care. It's, it's so good to see you. Like, How are so you? What? It's great to see you guys. I'm good. Well, we see you had a very personal reason for entering the program. Let's take a look at your journey. Have you ever been in jail The journey that doesn't make sense. I started to think about my daughter because she's currently incarcerated. and She was severely addicted to drugs. Something is small. She's not getting away. She'd probably wear your ass out. Don't even, don't stop that. I could never have understood what my daughter was going through until I walked one minute in her shoes. Yeah, because you didn't believe her. How she feels when she saw. That's what it came down to. You didn't believe her at all. You didn't believe your own daughter. How has that experience changed your relationship? Like, why would she lie about how it is Actually, locked it's been up? for the better. As soon as I got out, I went to go visit her. And we sat down and we talked and we had the same lingo, the same language, the same concepts of things. Being in jail was not easy on my relationship. It uh, definitely stemmed from a lifestyle that was not Damn, suitable. you couldn't wait 60 days? Having a kid incarcerated, it takes toll on your relationship. Sheree, why is that affecting you so much? What kind of marriage do you have you can't wait 60 and, days? It was hard to kind of re kind of find your role when you got You're better off. I, it was. Keep it, was it moving. Now, Mona Lisa and Quentin discovered their opposing views of law enforcement when they met. Let's take a look at one of their first said, I don't like them. What did you think of that? I feel better about it now. I kind of still feel nervous. Yeah, well, I never get scared until I know when I'm scared. What? What did you do? You were a police officer? I, was a I don't get happy until I know I'm happy. I get it now. I get it now. Being a police I don't get officer, sad until I know I'm sad. If they need us, they want us, and they love us. If their children are arrested, in this particular situation, it was a land of bullies. Not really. It's the land of dumbasses. And, and, and that, that's what I struggle with. It's really hard not to confront a stronger person taking advantage of a weaker. And that happened a lot in there. So true. Captain Maples, you had to actually intervene and remove Ryan from the pod and talk to him. You gotta keep in mind, you're still in here on a program. But I do still have an honor code. I have to keep some people close while I am here. Honor code to what? To M80. We wanted to just make sure the end goal was the same. You know, we need perspective of this jail. You know, we don't need you. Well, you ain't ever gonna see these people ever again. 
Sheriff, how did Ryan help you as a participant in the program? Unfortunately, he showed me a lot of what not to do. Now, Chris and Brian, you trained at the facility together. How'd it go, man? <laughs> <laughs> it was an interesting time. I ended up leaving early. Yeah, uh, was that my fault? Uh, no, okay, it wasn't. Right on. Dion, do you remember? Yeah, was my first time. Yeah, I remember. It's too yeah. weird, man. It's the wrong time to be a They might be low-key you know gumps, man. I didn't know at all. Everybody thought he was detoxing. <laughs> <laughs> I just emanate that I'm not with these guys. Well, whip that ass, man. Trying you like that? Come on. No, you over there laughing about it, man. Nah, it ain't funny, man. Look at Ryan. You think that was bad? Wait till goes to sleep. What was going through your mind as all this was happening? Exactly. Well, You're been saying, established for certain yeah, I was like, I was dang, in that he over there laughing. I was someone that they felt comfortable messing with. We were bored. Ryan, you used the word we. Yeah, what are you talking about we? We. We. You were talking about you and the rest of the inmates. Yeah. You, you went in on it? Uh, I wasn't part of it. I understood it. Um, after I blended and got in with everybody, I could understand why they were doing it. Okay. <laughs> everybody was just bored. Yo, he pissed. Sheriff, you, you don't seem to be buying that. Oh, I'm not amused by it. I'll tell you that. It's disturbing to me. Ultimately, you were Weak. pushed to a breaking point. Bubble Let's guts, Chris. Get some of your limited time inside. Look at him. Excuse me. How are you doing? Just being out of sick. My stomach's turning. Can't keep food down. I want to keep going, but in all honesty, I don't want to be here. I'm just, I feel you like. You couldn't even get past the damn classification. That's crazy. Why'd you even sign up? <sighs> it just scared me too much now. Just because I'm not give it a try. Myself. And I don't like give it. Give it a try. You didn't give it a chance. Just because I was sick. I'm anxious to leave. But disappointed that we didn't finish. And knowing he was drinking, almost felt like he was out with another woman to me in that situation. Are you f kidding me right now? That's what you're I have up at. a lot of trust issues. It's not the same thing. And there were things that I think we kind of brushed under the rug. God damn, he's a mate. I can't go to the bar? All you have is that what you're telling him? He can't go to the bar? A day to think. You go everywhere you can. Zach is here today to discuss these issues. I wouldn't want to be with someone like that either. Was really you know, tell me I can't go to the bar, can't have a drink just because you don't. Hey, hey, Zach. Good to see you again. Good to see you. I'm not going to change not who I am. He's getting big. Seven months? Seven months. But if you're not the one for him, that would mean two of you shouldn't be together. What are we, a marriage counselor? I just didn't know in that moment. I couldn't give a solid answer. I was very overwhelmed at that time. In all honesty, I don't think I have as many issues to deal with to make this relationship work as Ashley has. And I'm not trying to say that- Just say yes, man. There. I just feel like she has had a rougher road and a rockier life than I have. It, it sounds like Zach is saying, you need to work on you, mm -hmm. but but I don't need to work. Am on I watching Doctor Phil? And I'm wondering if you agree with that. Um, gosh, I don't even. But no. Just be honest, baby. I I just honestly feel like no one's perfect, and you can always better Absolutely. yourself and become a better Absolutely. person. I I agree with that. What's next for the family? Well. What is next? We're actually expecting your second baby. Mm -hmm. Wow. Damn. So we just found that out. Congratulations. Right Our marriage we'll really doesn't work, but we'll go ahead and have another kid. Sometime toward the end of this year. Well, it is great to hear that things are better and incredibly great to hear uh, that you are having another baby. Thank so you so much. Thank you to both of you. None of you had any sadness about leaving? I did. Yes. Uh, oh, no. Absolutely. Yeah. Sadness about leaving. Sadness about leaving. I'm ready to go. Is that a trick? Yeah. I had sadness. I've got three yeses. I did, yeah, I did too. Yeah. It was, it Four was, yeses. It was a sadness about who and what you were leaving behind. I don't care about none of them people, man. Take me home. I'll see your baby. 
people you really got to know that are good, solid people that just made mistakes. It's sad to just walk out the door and not ever know again what happened. All right, Sheriff, what did you learn from two <laughs> rounds of the program? We learned that we Nothing. were being very successful keeping street level drugs out of the jail. However, inmates were still sneaking them in their body cavities. So we started a fundraising drive to be able to get a body scanner. Damn, you don't even have that? It's a, a game changer in the corrections world. It, it literally is a great tool. Uh, basically, prior to the program, we were not assigning specific cells to individual inmates. Now we go with a system where we classify and house the inmates based on their current charges. Should have been doing that from the get-go. So some of the pod politics, if you will, having the pod bosses that ran the show, no matter like, what. That's common day, sense. Why would sleeping, you uh, classify somebody as a murderer or somebody that's in there for drunk driving or something? At all anymore, now that we've moved to a new system. When participants got out of jail, they were feeling a lot of anxiety that they didn't really feel connected with society anymore. So the sheriff put out a pamphlet of all the places of how you're going to feel, how to deal with them, anxiety and depression tips. So we're going to run this department with structure and discipline, but we're going to do it with compassion also. So Major, where was he at the whole show? It's very similar to what you see in an airport. The machine comes on a very low dose, scans the body. Well, that guy didn't lose his job. Anything that's in an orifice, or he's just staring at it. What are you doing? Skin, <laughs> it'll pick up on that, and we'll be able to see that. Look at him; he's just looking at it. Captain, what do you think the most important thing like is? Like he in a corner, no move. People think of scanning a body only. Um, you can actually take the inmate's mat, which is a common place to hide stuff. You can take their belongings down, scan that. You can see inside the mat. Also, we run our corrections officers through them periodically on a random basis just to keep the integrity of our officers up because they obviously shouldn't be sneaking anything in the jail also. We have changed mm. some of us more than others. Yeah. But we're not the same people that went in. That's right. That wraps up 60 Days In. Oh, no, you can change like that in 60 you, Days Sheriff In. Thank you, Sheriff for letting us be part of a new successful strong. run in your facility. In my opinion. And to all the participants for the hard work in the program. Yeah. So, that's it. End of Season 2. Thank God. <laughs> so, now I guess I'll start on Season 3. In a couple days, few days, whenever. Um, I actually want to start doing stuff I haven't seen before. I think that'll make for better videos and better reactions, honestly. So, haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but for now, I'll do season three or six days in. I think I'll just do those two days a week, though. So, bear with me. But if I see something I like, or I don't know, that would be good for the channel. I don't know what it is yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. If y'all like it. I just don't know yet. I'll figure it out though. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Be on the lookout for some new videos. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video.